Is your house haunted? I wouldn't say haunted. I would say more so visited. Uh, it's being lived in, not just by us. Do you think the house is haunted? Oh, for, for sure. Most definitely. Most definitely. Josh, is your house haunted? Yes. So, who is it that lives with you? There could be multiple of them here, I, but I'm pretty sure we coined him as one, though. And his name, we call him Thomas, but... Well, downstairs, we have a, we have a room that it opens and closes and locks itself. Yeah, we have no control over it, but sometimes it's open and sometimes it's not. We just find it. And when it's open, usually that's when the most um, paranormal stuff happens around the house. I lived in the basement, and uh, I lived down there with Jimmy Strelick, and we uh, almost had like strange dreams every night the same night. We would wake up and be like, did you have a really strange dream? It'd be like eight, like one o'clock in the morning, wake up at the exact same time. Crazy shit. Lights were left turned on, TV turned on several times. Kind of just like hearing something in your ear, like someone whispering to you almost. Yeah. That was kind of creepy. But like when I moved upstairs, they kind of went away. So the only thing I can think of is like, maybe because you're close to the room. Whenever I'm laying down in bed, I can hear things moving on like my desk and like my dresser area. Like a little thing, like imagine like something really small, like fuck, I don't know, like a pencil, um, some candy, you know, I don't know, Studi yeah. studious things. He just flickers the lights a lot. He does the ceiling fans that we have in this room have little bulbs that, it, depending on what we say, we either get a positive or a negative response from Thomas. It's pretty cool if you think about it. Because it's not like a ghost that would possess you and try and kill you. I mean, it just wants to mess with you and have fun. So kind of an optimistic way to look at it.